Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome to another video of Utah Macross with me. So before we get started, let me update you guys on what's been going on. So some of you who have been following me on the Macross Delta page have noticed that I'm no longer there posting anything up. So, <laughs> so we've actually moved on to a brand new Macross group um, because of reasons. So anyways, I'll link the new uh, Facebook group that we are currently at, me and the broadcast crew are currently admi uh, doing administration on that group and uh, moderating as well. So guys, uh, I'll leave the link down in the description below if you wish to join us for more Macross content other than Uta Macross, uh, do head over to the group down below. Alright guys, so brand new event and it's this, ti this time round, uh, they finally brought out a different generation of Macross into the game. Um, well, it's not really entirely new from what we have seen. Uh, so far, we've seen only four generations of Macross in Uta Macross. So finally, they are bringing back Macross 7. Uh, and of course, as you can see in the banners flashing past the screen, um, Basara is the main figure of um, the event currently. Uh, kind of, because <laughs> well, in the gacha you will probably see that it is not Basara's face on the uh, on the main plate, but rather it's civil. So yeah, it's kind of strange. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's get down to talking about the event itself. The event. I have to give you guys a heads up. It's very important. If you are a free to play person, this event and the next one that's coming. Uh, they finally changed this current second event of the month to be a very nasty one like the last event that we usually have uh, before it rotates all over again. They, they, they have implemented this brand new concept into this event which is going to hurt a lot of the free to play players. So anyway guys, let me talk about that later on. Let's get down to the mission tab and talk about the missions first because that's probably the most important thing that everybody wants to find out so here we go as you can see i've already cleared some of the missions so i'm going to just explain roughly what they are again uh, in case you guys are still not familiar with all the japanese texts so right um as you can see the bottom here from easy to very hard i have yet to clear extreme because apparently um, clearing extreme on this event is gonna be very texting Ta yeah it's uh, texting texting not texting texting <laughs> uh, yeah it's gonna be very taxing especially for free to play players like myself kind of um, that don't really spend a lot of uh, resources regenerating energy all right so here we go so you just need to clear the main song in the event submarine street uh, as long as you hit the highest full combo that you can obtain which is extreme if not you can do like what I do I just play very hard and get a full combo and you'll clear the rest of the other difficulties so it's like uh, you don't have to cover all the difficulties individually so that's fantastic so just a full combo on the highest difficulty you can get and then uh, you will clear the rest uh, subsequently all right so the next ones are the score high score the highest score for this mission is 140 uh, or rather 1 million four hundred thousand so that's how much points you need to get to clear the highest uh, mission for this particular um, version of the mission I guess that's probably how you can put it so yeah the lowest here is definitely 700,000 so yeah so 100 uh, 1 million four hundred thousand is the highest you can go um, in the future, I will have a, vi a video um, talking about how you can set up your team for the best possible high score. You can actually follow that video in the future when it's finally up to actually obtain and clear all these high score missions easily. Alright, so yeah. Alright, moving on. Okay, sub the submissions uh, for the other songs available within the event. Uh, we have What About My Star currently, and I think. There are two more songs, if I'm not wrong. So, currently the um, exclusive song is Silver Moon, Red Moon. Um, we are currently on day two of the event, so Silver Moon, Red Moon is the second song. Uh, you just have to clear five times for each um, unique event song. 
five times don't play more than that because you're gonna waste energy um if you prefer do playing those songs i guess that's probably another way of going around things um yeah then of course we have clearing the daily missions so this one will refresh every day don't forget to play it every day to collect that 1200 uh, zodiac medals uh, it's very crucial if you wish to exchange all the rare episode plates within the chaos exchange yep then of course there is the usual stuff which is basically clear event missions you know 10 times 20 times how how many times they require you to do so yeah uh, and of course clearing the mission challenges uh, within the event um, with the song Submarine Street so you know every time when you finish a live event, uh, event live they will probably ask you to choose a difficulty uh, uh, difficult level of mission to clear along with the song so let's get down to it and uh, let's talk about the missions itself now I don't have a full list of the missions I know I probably should be writing them down whenever i play it but the thing is whenever i'm playing it i's probably i'm at work or i'm traveling uh, and i don't really have the time to you know um write down all the necessary info whenever it's possible so here we go okay level one basically is uh, clear the song get a 40 percent boost in points then of course level two you have uh 60% boost in points the missions uh, requirement is basically le and clear the song with 80% uh, life or more so that's pretty easy um, kind of <laughs> all right then danger plus 100% basically um, you'll be taking a lot more damage when you miss or uh, you get good notes that kind of thing uh, and you need to survive with 80% or more HP so yeah so now we come to the point where we talk about the events challenge here we go so basically what the event challenge is throughout the entire event song throughout okay in the past this challenge was much easier to handle because it only activates when you're in and en enter into utahime mode but this time round they have implemented it in a way that throughout the entire event song um you'll be taking double the amount of damage whenever you miss or get a good note uh, so that's basically it so how do you survive this event well if you could read japanese it's actually mentioned here in the tabs all right so let's see here we go this this entire section here basically what they ask you to do is have an episode plate attached to your center diva the activate skill basically is to recover your hp so once you reach the end of the song regenerate your hp and you clear the mission easily so with that said um let's talk about uh how you can actually set up your diva plates for this event but before that let me explain the very first banner which is a brand new thing that has never happened before until now uh, in this form of manner well if you guys are familiar with the ticketing event you know that you can actually spend um, one ticket two tickets and four tickets at one go uh, to save time to um, to reduce the amount of times you play the event songs now they have implemented this which is basically spending two times the amount of energy uh, at one go now this this banner is a double-edged sword why do i say so basically it is very helpful that yes you can spend a hefty amount of energy at one go and then spend less time playing means you have more time to focus on other things as well in your life um, that requires more attention other than playing Uta Macross um, but on the other hand if you happen to fail the live song you're gonna end up losing a lot of energy um, that <laughs> you have spent um, waiting to regenerate that's where 
the double-edged sword comes in and this is where I say remember I told you this event is no longer fair for free-to-play players mainly because if you have lost the amount of energy trying to clear extreme and you fail you're gonna lose the amount of um, basically okay if you were to play extreme normally it will cost you 20 uh, energy points to enter the song for extreme but because you're playing a, a two times energy consumption event uh, to boost the amount of points at the end of the life by two times well you're gonna spend 40 energy at one go and you're gonna lose 40 energy at one go if you fail extreme so yeah so this is very very harsh uh, for free to play players do take note uh, if you guys have a lot of uh, energy ethers stored up and you wish to throw them out for this kind of events uh, go ahead and do so but I do not recommend it at all um, because this event does not uh, require points to rank high in fact it only requires luck and a lot of effort if your luck is not there so <laughs> that's my recommendation to you do not I highly recommend do not spend your energy atters or your singing stones to regenerate your energy unless you feel confident enough uh, to clear extreme if not stick with a more comfortable uh, comfortable difficulty for yourself um, because you don't want to waste the energy that you've waited so long to re uh, restore just to throw it away down the gutter which i have i i had to do it in a bit <laughs> to 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 tell you guys all this information i had to test it out myself so yes i've wasted 40 energies trying to do extreme uh and failed to do so near the end <laughs> i almost cleared the song but i failed at near the end so that's kind of this disheartening in a way so any anyway, guys all right let's talk about setting up your divas uh, episode plates okay i'm just going to show you what i have set up for my divas because uh i don't want to spend too much time it's kind of like a 2 30 a.m right now when i'm recording this nope i do not want to spend that amount so as you can see the tab here uh basically they can ask they will let you choose whether you want to have it one times the amount of energy or you want to have it two times the amount of energy as you can see the number changes here so 15 energy is the normal amount then of course 30 energy the number below is basically how much energy you currently have up here so yeah so guys just take note of that all right so what you want to have here at your friends list um, you can change it to total or you can change it to rarity it really depends up to you um, but I usually prefer to go with total because right now we are aiming for um, total I guess you can actually sort it to accordingly to um, support I guess so basically um, episode plates with support skills like Maybe this one, you can see here, uh, look at their life skills, so basically at the 22 seconds uh, yeah, mark, they will uh, boost up score. So honestly speaking, um, what you're looking for from friends right now, uh, basically episode plates that either they help you boost in score or they recover your HP uh, during the life itself. So let's say for example this one, so this one is also... Um, uh, score boosting plate so that's probably not what we want um, let's see there there should be a few that is like a HP regenerating I'm not sure whether Reyna's plate is actually a regenerative plate I can't really remember yeah here we go so life skill uh, when your life hits 40% down uh, you will recover 25% of your life so basically uh, if you wish to practice event songs live you know like playing the actual song um, do select friend plates that actually help to recover your HP um, when in needs of trouble you know in times of trouble so yeah uh, okay so right now I have my first set of divas that I've set up for this current event as you can see um, I have the Luca plate which is basically uh, Luca Luca's plate is actually the one of the five percent boost uh, episode plates so here we go and the skill for Lucas plate is actually pretty awesome so 
its center skill basically units total will gain 16% up and its active skill is a recover of 25% in HP that's pretty much what we need for this particular event alright so then the rest of the skills or rather the rest of the plates okay here um, right now my my sorting tab is currently at the life skill so all the plates life skill will be shown here so as you can see the rest of my plates are basically score boosting plates um, then for here Basara uh, they are all score boosting plates as well so if you want to beat the high score missions this is pretty much what you need to do then of course Meline's plate uh, her main plate is actually a 5% uh, boost plate as well so the rest of them are all score plates because I was pretty confident with my very hard um, difficulty um, clearing I guess so I went with a full score team rather than a support team of healing so if I were to, if I were to wish to tackle extreme, I could change the rest of the plates all to healing plates, um, which will definitely benefit me in the end. And of course, having episode plates that help boost the total amount of HP might help as well. So those are my hints to you guys for setting up um, your divas episode plates. Uh, do take note what you need to do to set that, set them up. Basically, your center plate is the only thing that you need to have that is an active uh, skill which recovers HP. The rest of them is really up to you. So, yeah, uh, I do know that, you know, reading the Japanese text on the episode plates um, takes a bit of time to get used to, uh, especially if you're not familiar with Japanese. So, um, I'm reaching out to anyone out there who is on the Facebook groups uh, and on YouTube who wish to help us, the community, to translate the episode plates um, entirely. So um, yeah, do let me know in the comments down below in this uh, video. Or if not, if you guys if are familiar with me on the Facebook groups, do let me know in, the, in, my, in Facebook Messenger or you can PM me or whatever uh, if you wish to help out with the community in this manner. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the setup for the Divas. Alright, so I think there's really nothing much to explain right now except maybe if you guys aren't familiar with all the buttons that are in the events, um, it's basically the same stuff. Um, if you tap this button here, uh, basically it allows you to um, have the event song shuffled for you if you choose this one. Uh, basically every time you finish an event song it will randomly pick a song for you to clear if not you can always choose the one at the bottom which basically uh, lets you continue off continue on with the song that you last played so usually I go with this and then of course this one at the top is your mission tab basically it lets you re-pick a mission you know if you think that you can't clear it then of course the other tab which basically lets you choose the songs you wish to clear now the last one doesn't have the 10% um, bonus event song because the last song is usually the events um, daily resource song as you can see here at the bottom there's the green gem there so you can actually play that to get the resources but sadly to say you'll be losing on the 10% bonus in points um, so yeah all right so that's pretty much all the menu icons that you need to know okay so let's talk about the gacha or rather the kuji event for this mission uh, sorry, the kuji event for this event uh kuji exchange i guess <laughs> i don't know kuji draw let's play as kuji draw oh guys i'm so sorry it's late and i'm tired <laughs> i just came back from work immediately to do this video for you guys all right so as usual i'm gonna explain what you need to do to um well to spend the least amount of um medals that, to exchange for the main item you wish to pull from the list that you're currently on so i'm currently on list one okay if you if you tap this blue button here it will show you the entire list of items available for exchange so every event well there are 15 lists to obtain or rather to clear and the most important one is which is the gold medal is always on the list or is on, always on number 13 so 
Um, yeah. Alright, so right now, take note, we are on 20 or 20 items. Basically, there are 20 items to pull from this first list. You want to use the least amount of medals to obtain this item, which is an episode orb. Okay. Now, when to use 10 pulls and when to use 1 pull. Basically, if you can pull this one item out of 20 with just one single pull, you are considered godly lucky. Uh, <laughs> But normally, to play safe, what I recommend is pull a 10 pull when it's close to a 50% chance to pull out the main item. So, right now, we are at a 50% chance, you know, 10 out of 20, which is basically 50% chance. Let's do this. So, we got it straight away. There we go. We did waste 3. We did waste 3 medals, you know, trying to get it, but it's fine. Because you won't guarantee yourself to actually get it if you just put single you know the chances the rng num calculator will always change in factors all right so once you put the main important item it's not necessary for you to continue with this list unless there is an item here uh, that you wish to obtain but usually the, the items below are not fantastic so uh, let's move on we can actually skip the list and move on to the next so that you can reserve the amount of uh, medals that you wish to exchange all right so we are not at a 50 percent mark because 30 out of 30 and only 10 out of 30 so let's just pull 110 and see how it goes and immediately we got the episode play i would say this is pretty lucky um oh we got it evolved <laughs> nice so yeah I, I i probably obtained two of the episode plates from the normal reward list already so that's probably why no wait, one one episode play from the re normal rewards list so that's probably why it evolved so let's check out what's the other remaining resources so nothing useful here except probably yeah nothing useful except for the smaller the smaller notes here these are pretty rare now for me myself so but i'm just gonna skip because i don't really want to use the amount of medals that i really require oh this is a brand new item so yeah so we got curry rice um added to the divas uh affection items so that's pretty nice so let's just pull a 10 because 10 out of 50 we're not even close to the 50 percent mark so here we go another 10 so nothing still so should we pull a 10 actually by right now here we could still pull a 10 but i have not enough medals so i'm just gonna pull the remaining 30 okay so nothing so from here onwards i probably might want to do the single pulls until i get the curry rice out <laughs> so guys that's all my hints and suggestions for you for this particular kind of event um i know it's a very long video but you know this is the best i can explain uh to benefit everyone out there so that you guys don't end up making mistakes um playing uh especially if you guys are brand new to uta macross uh it is very painful when you do end up realizing you've done something wrong uh during your time of play and it might hurt you in the long run especially when it comes to episode plates of um when oh sorry no when it comes to obtaining episode plates from events because those episode plates might benefit you in future events to push yourself um, further in ranking and so on and so forth so guys thank you guys so much for listening me to me uh, rumble all the way through with all the explanation and all this uh, I hope you guys all the best for your gacha pulls which I have not done so let's go do it <laughs> and the video is not gonna end anytime soon i'm so sorry guys so apparently yes i'm not gonna do a full 10 plate gacha pool for basara because as you can see i am lacking in episodes uh or rather singing stones um yeah so i'm just gonna do a single pool at the same time i'm gonna explain to you guys what basara's plate or rather sibyo's plate actually does so as you can see uh, this is the evolved version of Sivio's plate. This is the pre-evolved version. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the effects of the evolved version. Uh, of course, that's basically what is most important. Alright, so center skill for the plate. Basically, unit's life is increased by 40% up, which is basically what you need for this event as well. The total score for the plate is 3,387, which is on the average, which is pretty good. 
Um, then of course it's active skill with a recovery of 30% HP which uh, is fantastic as well then at the start of the 22nd 20 second, second, uh, 20 second, second mark oh my goodness it's a tongue twister <laughs> for 14 seconds your score is increased by 80% wow okay this play is pretty awesome in terms of uh, life skill um, as a recovery skill, I guess it's pretty decent as well. It's not the best recovery plate out there. Uh, Welcome to Valkyrie World is still definitely the best healing plate out there. But sadly to say, it is not a plate that has any secret bots unlocked because it is a starting off plate. So uh, until they decide to give us more of that plate, that plate is pretty much just a healing plate uh, at its best. So <laughs> hey guys, let's do a single pool. Uh, and hopefully, well, RN Jesus will bless us with something. If not, this is gonna be a very crappy short gacha pool video. And we got the crappy side. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well. Alright guys, so we ended off with a very sour note, uh, kind of, but anyway, <laughs> I have to thank you guys for watching all the way until this point, if you have, um, it really warms my heart to see that my videos actually help people out there, uh, yeah, so as always, all the best for your gacha pools and your event, and well, Hopefully, um, RNG Jesus is on your side in terms of the Kuji draws. Uh, maybe you will be able to obtain the gold medal um, for your profile uh, if you are lucky enough without spending the amount of uh, medals required like a maniac. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, bye!